Chess is an affirmation of proportional logic. Chess is an affirmation of geometry and composition is sonic geometry. Uh, chess is an affirmation of target um, intentionalities. I want to be in this position at XX moves right. uh, and that position will put me in the next. Uh, uh, composition is uh, the reality of sonic geometry uh, within the world of music. Uh, uh, music shape, music color, uh, target uh, propositions in terms of uh, destinations, uh, what kind of ingredients are going to be used. Now my hero was Bobby Fischer uh, and Nimzovich and Capablanca. And uh, so I used to carry my chess books and my clock and my board. And uh, when I went to Paris, uh, I spent my time, I divided my time between the musicians, meeting the New York musicians especially, and the Yugoslavian chess players, because the Yugoslavian chess players are the one. Now, Russia is the place to go. <laughs> for, oh, Rus Russians are toughy woofies on the chessboard. But I had to get away from chess because I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I couldn't go back to life. I uh, studied math, but I'm not a real mathematician. Pythagoras, uh, uh, part of the significance of Pythagoras was that he understood poetic logics, that number is also poetic, and that there'd be a character to a number. Um, mathematics and music is really one side of the same thing. The great music masters, whether we're talking of Miles Davis, whether we're talking of Duke Ellington, whether we're talking of uh, uh, Mozart, were mathematicians. But the, you know, one thing they also were talking about the European classical composers, the ones whose music you can almost listen to it and say, oh yeah, he was. Uh, the ones whose music flows with, with a mathematical brilliance, but with a swing, are the guys that were musicians too. Mozart, Bach, these guys, you know, they played it first, then they wrote it down. Bebop is the next extension of figured bass improvisation. Yeah. Uh, the old European masters would take four or five notes and then make something with it. And then get on the organ and boom, 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 And then the next guy would come in. The significance of jazz would be it was the first time that collective improvisation took place. Not that improvisation itself took place. Jazz would bring together two, three, and four people improvising it at the same time. That was the breakthrough. Um, but the central logic, whether it was the harmonic logic or the uh, expanded European uh, uh, rhythmic logic, uh, was uh, consistent with the trans-European musics. Uh, I'm not saying that to take away from jazz. I'm only saying there are connections that um, get it's obscured music. when you start playing racial political games with the discipline of music, which is much greater than uh, the, the little games being played. This is what I was alluding to, one of the things I was alluding to. You know, but I you, agree with you. Well, of course, because I'm always right. Uh, <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs>